Thanks for checking out this unboxing video, and this is the new box that I kind of teased if people have been watching my BAM box and Box of Dread unboxings. Um, this is the new box I teased, and like I said on one of my videos, it's food. Uh, I figured it'd be a lot of fun to do a food one, and I'm really big into Japanese culture, so I kind of was looking out there for good Japanese uh, food boxes, and one of, um, there were, actually there are a lot of them at this point, but most of them focus mainly on like candy and like some drinks and some do like, you know, the prepackaged ramen stuff, but none of that really appeals to me too much. I'm not huge on candy or anything. So I found this one, uh, Snacku, uh, which seems to focus more on like baked goods. It looks like they have some candy type stuff every now and then, but like rice crackers, baked goods, stuff like that. And they partner with uh, like small family owned Japanese businesses that they get all their food from and one of the cool things is they have kind of like regional themes each month so like one month it'll be from like a certain area of Japan and then the next month it'll be from another area and it's kind of like what is popular there snack wise so that really drew me to this because it's not like just a bunch of candy stuff but this is called snacku as you can see and it's um you know, it's got a nice, this is a small box, this is not their regular box, this is the tasting box, which is only available in the United States, they do their regular box available elsewhere too, but uh, only tasting box available in the US, so the tasting box only has a few items that are in the regular box, I figured I'd just start with the tasting box just to see what I think about it, um, and then go from there, uh, so we'll see, but uh, there was an issue with the U.S. Postal Service. I was supposed to have started it in January, but they lost my box. The U.S. Postal Service did. Um, and then when I got this one, I was a little confused because, I mean, I ripped it off for this video, but the, the label, the shipping label said that it was sent in January, which was like the same date of when my January one was sent, and it was lost. So I was like, oh, maybe this is January, but then when I opened it up, it had a card in it for February. So I'm like, well, this is February, I guess. So I think it's February, the title of this will tell you for sure, but I'll get into this. I didn't, I had already pre-cut it and just looked at this, but I didn't actually open it up. So this is what it looks like on the inside of the box. And it says tasting box, very nicely wrapped right here. Um, and oh, because of the issues with the shipping for January, um, I was not charged for February because I was already charged for January. So the February one, um, Shigeki who runs the company, owns the company, said that he would include some extra snacks, which I said, you don't really need to do that because it wasn't your fault, it was US Postal Service's fault, so I don't want you to have to like drop cash on this, basically. So I don't know, maybe he did put in extra stuff, but I said, you don't need to, so we'll see. So anyway, so here's the card. Um, let's put this to the side. So here's the card, oh, really nice artwork. So it says February 2018, I'm sorry if my hand shakes. I have what's called a central tremor, so my hands always shake. It's just a condition. Um, very nice artwork. Uh, and then they kind of tell you what's in it. Uh, they not only tell you what the featured snacks are for your, for your particular box, but they tell you uh, at the bottom what the additional snacks would end up being if you got the larger size box, which is a regular box. And then on the side, it has like what's what are popular snacks in Japan. So. Um, so one of the things says that in Japan, women buy chocolates for the men. Um, obviously, this is kind of like a Valentine's Day theme, so it has that, that information, which I told my wife I thought was funny. I'm like, you know, in Japan, women buy chocolates for the men, not men for the women. She's like, are you saying I should buy you chocolates? And I was like, no, I'm just saying neither of us should do that. So, <laughs> you know. Um, and then they just kind of like have the information about these. So just give you a quick view. If you want to focus on it, you can stop the video and read through the stuff. So you, you see these would be the additional snacks you'd end up getting. This is kind of just what's popular. They're not included in any of the boxes and this is what we have. Um, but I'll kind of like read along as we go. So that was just kind of set on there to make it look nice, tissue paper. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of, oh man, there's a bunch of stuff in here. He, he did put in extra. So the first thing, I'm gonna go ahead and do, this might be a long video, so uh, yeah, there is extra stuff. So Doriyaki is the first thing that I have here. Um, let's see the, 
packaging. It's kind of like, it looks like little pancakes with like a chocolate filling in them. Well, it would be better for me to take it out and show you that. But it looks like little pancakes with a chocolate filling in the middle. And it says that it's handmade small pancake-like cakes, okay, wrapped around a sweet red bean filling. So I know that red bean paste and red beans in general are a thing in Japan. I don't think I've ever had red bean, so I don't know. Oh, these t legit feel like pancakes and look like pancakes. So there's like the little pancakes with the red bean in there. I'm sorry, the lighting's not like the best. I tried to do what I can, but. It's like so fluffy, like soft and fluffy. The pancakes taste really good. They're like real bready, kind of. I mean, they taste like what you would think of, like kind of like a a, a um, sweet, uh, fluffy pancake. And the red bean, the red bean is like a little bit sweet. It almost comes comes off like a little bit like a fig, almost, but not. Doesn't have that particular figgy character. It's got kind of like the consistency of a fig, almost a little jelly like. And then the, um, like, a slight sweetness and, and just, like, a little bit of, a, like, a tart. But it's, like, a sugary, fluffy, pancake-y thing. Tastes pretty good. That's nice. I don't really know of any, like, American snacks that I could really compare it to. So, basically, I'm just going to eat a little bit of a, of a bunch of these, or all of them. And then save it because I'm going to share it with my wife because I'm sure she wants to try it. That's good. Uh, Doriyaki is what that was. So the next thing. Okay, so these are prets, I guess, from Le Monde. In the packaging. Prets. Oh, they're bourbon flavored. It's like bourbon flavored pretzels. Okay. I mean, I'm down with that. I like bourbon flavored things. I don't like bourbon. I like bourbon flavored things. It's just a thing of mine. Anyway, so this this must be the pretz. I don't know. I don't really see anything on here necessarily that it would be other than that. So it just basically looks like two pretzels kind of encased in whatever. Ooh, let me get that on my computer. <laughs> yeah. Making a mess. Ooh. Okay. So the inside is kind of like these little like wafers. You see? Um, if people have ever had like pyroline, like those little like roll cookies with like usually some sort of like uh, flavored filling, it's a lot like the outside of the pyroline cookies. Like very flaky, very light. Mm. It was like crackery. Got a really nice crunch to it. I'm just making a mess here. Because that thing just falls apart when you bite into it. It's really good though. And it does have a little bit of like a pretzely flavor to it. Like bready pretzely. Um, that's not what that is. I don't even know what that is, honestly. <laughs> that's so funny. I don't even think it's really on here. Maybe that's one of the... Of the Excuse me. One of the extra snacks he was going to add. So I don't even really know what to call it because I can't even read it. But it's that like bourbon. Le Monde. Le Monde. It says right there. If you can read it. Bourbon Le Monde. Or Le Monde. I'm sorry. I can't. I don't have any anything on the key that matches that. So. Then we have these things. We have a few of them. Uh, Ichigo Milk Candy. Uh, popular since 1970, these candies have a multi-layer strawberry and milk filling. They're pretty small. Strawberry and milk filling. Okay, so these look like kind of hard candies. I don't know if I'll be able to, like, eat the whole thing, so I might just kind of, like, put it in my mouth for a little bit and then spit it out. But it's like these little hard candy type things. It's a nice pink. I don't know if you can really see it with the lighting. But it's like a nice light pink color. I can bite through it. 
kind of not good on my teeth, but whatever. Mmm. Okay. So it's definitely like that sugary, hard candy flavor. But there's a decent amount of strawberry to it. And it's kind of like a more sweet, like, strawberry flavor, not like a real strawberry. And then you do get that milk coming through. There's like a really nice creaminess to it. So it's basically like candy form of strawberry milk if strawberry milk actually didn't taste like crap. So that's actually, I like that. That's tasty. I have a few of those, so. There's two more. Oh no, there's three more. That was really nice. Very cool. Those are good. I like those. So the next thing, these are chocolate arar or arare. These fun little shapes. I think these are like chocolate covered senbai or something like that. Or like rice crackers. So let's just pour a few of them out. And you can see in my hand, they're just oops, all over my computer, but ugh. I wonder if they're actually like different flavors, but we'll find out. So, let me leave some of them in there. Just like one of each and put the rest back. They feel and look like they're like yogurt um, laden, but we'll see. So, chocolate arar or arare uh, from a rice cracker store in Kyoto comes a snack 10 years in the making. There are chocolate-covered mini rice crackers that have been featured on TV in Japan, apparently. They come in pouches of bitter and sweet. The bitter pouch includes matcha, green tea, dark chocolate, and white chocolate-covered crackers. The sweet pouch contains strawberry milk chocolate and white chocolate-covered crackers. Oh, okay, so I have another one, so this must be the bitter pouch. Okay, so I'll open the bitter pouch at the same time, and we'll try everything for both of these. Let's see, like a green one from the bitter, and one of each. I'm gonna have a lot of food here. <laughs> this is the way it is. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna do one of the bitter ones. This should be the dark chocolate from the bitter. Ooh, okay. I like this immediately. Mmm. First of all, let me say I like rice crackers in the first place. Adding dark chocolate on top of the rice crackers with that kind of like bitter kick at the end, I feel like really works well with the kind of soy finish that they typically put on rice crackers. So it's kind of like a saltiness to go with like the bitter chocolate. I like that. I like that one quite a bit. I have a little bit of water in between these. Um, okay, so this next one should be white chocolate. So, I'm not big on white chocolate. White talk chocolate to me typically just tastes like sweet. So that's basically what I get with this. It's just like a rice cracker with some sweetness. Plus, white chocolate seems like extra waxy to me typically. So that one's not really for me, but if you like white chocolate, you might like that. So I mainly just taste like the rice cracker with a little sweet. There should be the matcha green tea. Definitely tastes like tea. Real vegetal note on there. Almost a little seaweedy. Not sure I really like dig this one. Honestly, I'm going to start putting my water over here. It's just easier. It's a little seaweed type flavor to it. I don't think I really like that one, honestly. The dark chocolate, though, is nice. Okay, so now for the sweet pouch. There's one strawberry. I don't taste much strawberry. Okay, a little bit of a hint on the very end as I continue to let it play around on my palate. A little bit of strawberry to it, and it actually tastes like the strawberry fruit, so that's okay. But for the most part, it kind of tastes like white chocolate with just that little bit. So, eh. This one should be also white chocolate. Yeah, I don't know why that would be in both of them. Doesn't taste any different. Not big on that. And then there's milk chocolate. There's dark chocolate and the other milk in this. Mm. 
The milk chocolate's good. I like the dark chocolate a lot more. Of all those, dark chocolate's by far the best. Not big on the matcha, not big on the white chocolate. The strawberries, eh? All right, next thing. These are, oh, these are the pretzes. I have the pretzes here, and these are from Halloween, as you can see from the packaging. It says down here, lovely Halloween. And they're pretzes. It says to open them long ways. I don't know if I want to do that, though. Because maybe I can kind of reseal this. So about the pretzels, it says, Popular, lightly seasoned, baked pretzel sticks. One of our favorite snacks. Okay, well, they might all be broken. I don't know. I want to, ah, oh, there we go. So I got a full-size one. And then just like these really small pretzel sticks. They feel like lighter though. No. Yeah. Sorry, I'm doing laundry. It's really like light and buttery though. It's not like your typical US style pretzel. It's less of a saltiness to it and it's more like light and, and more like butter driven than what you're used to. And there's a little bit of saltiness to it. That's good. It was very easy, very good. That one's nice to throw in there amongst all the sweet because it gets to be like a sweet overload, honestly. So the next thing, I don't know what this one is. Oh, I think it says a Shirabaka no Daishi. I don't know which one this is. Well, I'll just have to see when I open it. Oh, I'll show you though. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's anyone out there who can read that. Pop it open, and maybe it's on here, or maybe it's not. This is another one that's not on here. Okay, so, I don't know, it like looks like, I don't even know what this looks like. It looks kind of like, like a tightly packed, like, chocolate granola with like white chocolate or just like a... Um, sugary glaze on it. See? I don't know if you can see it over there. Anyway, see what it tastes like. <clears throat> yeah. Um, it's got a little bit of like a vanilla sugary glaze to it. But other than that, it kind of tastes like people, have you had Teddy Grahams? It tastes like chocolate Teddy Grahams from the United States, but with like a vanilla y sugar coating on top. It's good. If you like Teddy Grahams, chocolate Teddy Grahams. I do. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. That's solid. It's, and it's not on here. So, just letting you know. I must be just one of the extras they sent. It's good. I like all this stuff. Pretty solid. Next. Really interested in this one. So this is, I know it's on here, Strawberry de Croix, de Croix, I don't know, I don't know how to say it, De Croix, I think this is supposed to be like a strawberry flavored pastry, it's a baked dessert cake made with layers of almond and hazelnut meringue and whipped strawberry buttercream, it sounds good and it sounds like something that's really up my wife's alley, she likes these types of things. I have a feeling this is gonna end up being a mess. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can definitely, ooh, you can definitely feel it. the the two pieces on the end feel like very meringue-like, very like delicate and not much weight to them, kind of like fluffy. Mm. Oh, it's like super light, very cakey. I get a decent amount of strawberry in there creamy, a little bit of vanilla. Mmm. It like, it's so soft it almost melts when you're biting through it. And the cream inside there. I do get a little bit of that hazelnut. This is like a nice creaminess in the middle. And the that brings more strawberry up too. So it's like strawberry and cream. That's really good. I like that a lot. I think my wife's gonna really dig it. 
So this one, I don't think is in here. Sorry, this one's not written on here either, but it's Bourbon Rasucre Chocolate. I'm sorry, the foil is very reflective. So, give this one a go. I have crumbs like everywhere. That meringue thing with the crumbs. <laughs> this is insane. Is this like a Melba Toast type thing? Yeah, it looks like a chocolate covered like Melba Toast. As you can see. See? Yeah. If people have ever seen like the little Melba Toast they put in the um, uh, Chex Mix. It's like that, but like chocolate cover. Sorry, I'm trying to minimize my crumbs. Yeah. It's basically what it tastes like. I don't know if I really taste any bourbon. I do taste dark chocolate. And obviously, as you can hear, it's just really crunchy. And there's like a slight kind of grainy rye type flavor to the actual cracker. Mm hmm. That's good. It's nothing like amazing. I mean, I can do without in the future, but it's good. And then I have this uh, Glico Caramel. And first, or Glico, Glico. And it comes, it's like two packages, so I'll have to see what the difference is here, but they're, you know, cellophaned together. So let me find the opening. So going forward, when I'm doing this tasting box, there's not going to be nearly as much to the runtime, just because there won't be this many treats included. This is an anomaly because of the shipping issue. But it's a cool way to do the first one. Um, actually, I think this is kind of like a prize or something. It's like a Cracker Jack type thing, maybe, where you get like some sort of like prize thing. Yeah. Yeah, legitimately. Like, it's a little, like, toy. That's funny. It's, and I have this little, I can probably give this to my niece. But it's a alligator. It's like a little plastic alligator. <laughs> yeah, it's made, out, it's made out of wood. It's just a little wooden alligator. And it looks like, most likely, if you, let's switch hands, if you get multiple of these things, then you get multiple of these, and they can kind of, like, click together because of the way they're set up. Something fun, excuse me, something fun for kids. That's cool. Uh, and then the actual Glico Caramel. Now, it doesn't have any sort of, like, text about the Glico Caramel, so I'll just have to tell you what it's like. Oh, so it's, like, legit, like, little... Individually wrapped caramels. Got hearts on it for February. I love caramel, by the way. So Now, is this hard candy caramel? Or will this be easy to chew? Yeah, and it's literally, literally like caramels shaped like a heart. Soft enough. It's got a fruitiness to it. I'm trying to figure out what. So it actually has, you get that kind of caramelly taste to it. Rich, creamy. But then there's also like, like a slight lemon in there. And then a little bit of a floral note too, actually. Like some sort of like tea or flower. Which sounds really weird. But it tastes good. Orange. It's not lemon. There's orange. So there's a little bit of orange flavor in there. And a little bit of like flowers. Not in a bad way though. I know that sounds kind of weird. But. Oh god. And that's it actually. Well I mean when I say that's it. I mean like we're done. That was a lot of stuff. So. I don't think I'm going to have to eat dinner now actually, because I just had all that. So of these, um, what were my favorites? That's not my favorite. 
this obviously, the strawberry de choix, or however you say it, is very delicious. That's really good. I'm a big fan of that one. That's, mm, I really do like, the, these don't seem like all that impressive, but I really like the taste of them. They're a really nice departure from all the sweet stuff. Tasty. I'm big on that one. Um, the Obviously the dark chocolate covered rice cracker. I really dig that. Um, oh yeah, these, this Le Monde, the, I got all this stuff. The Le Monde, you know, the one that's bourbon coated, that's kind of like the Pyrrhine cookies. That's really nice. I like that quite a bit. These are pretty good. Um, the Ichigo milk candy, it's like strawberry and milk, and they are hard, but soft in the middle. And then this, this little pancake red bean paste ordeal. Of these, I gotta say that my favorites are definitely the strawberry thing with the meringue and the, what they call the dorayaki, which is the little pancakes with the bean paste. Those are my two favorite things, not just from a, a, a flavor standpoint, but from a textural standpoint. They're very different texturally from what you would assume you're gonna end up getting with a lot of these snacks. And that's just kind of nice. Like, I know it seems kind of weird to like take texture into the equation, but you know, very famous chefs always say, oh, with this dish, you need some sort of interesting texture to it. So it's a legitimate thing. But anyway, I like this. This is nice. I'm going to continue to go with this. Like I said, we'll see about the tasting boxes. The next one should be a lot less to do. So the runtime will be a lot less, but hopefully it's as good and we'll try some interesting different stuff. Thank you, Shigeki. Um, thank you, Snacku. Uh, really cool. Um, I appreciate all the extra stuff because it made for a much longer, more interesting video. And tasty things. I like it at the moment. So the regular tasting box, it, it'll be a better representation next time of what, how much you actually get. But I believe it's $15.75, and that includes shipping and everything. And like I said, the tasting portion is only available in the United States. The regular box is available elsewhere. So go ahead and check it out. Just Google Snacku, spelled S-N-A-K-K-U, and check it out. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Go ahead and leave some comments down there, some likes, share the video, whatever you feel like. But um, if you've had any snacks like this or these actual snacks, let me know because I'd like to kind of engage and see what you guys thought of it. But thank you so much for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.